in this video we will see how the binary search works and what is the how the algorithm actually works and then we are going to code this into java also now here i have one list one array of numbers these are 20 of them and the index starts from 0 to 19 now the first condition for a binary search is to have the array in sorted order it can be ascending or descending from small to the largest okay now how binary search works actually is that we try to divide the array into half and then we look for the value at the midpoint of that array if it matches that is the value we are looking for if it does not match then we see that if it is on the right side of mid or on the left side if it is on the right side of the array then we try to change the position of our first and last value like for example this is our first and this can be the last now we need to calculate the mid also and the value that we are looking for here is 68 this one now the first is 0 while the last 19 and mid is 10 now you know that when you divide 0 plus 19 you get 9.5 so we have rounded this number so that we don't get 9.5 we get 10 okay. now here you can see i have put this small formula that we are going to use first is equal to mid plus one while last is equal to mid minus one and we will see how this works now our value is at 10 the mid mid is actually at 10 so it means this is 10 so this is our mid so now we check that the value that we're looking for is it greater than this one or less than this value where the mid is at the point at this very moment now it's on the right side means it's greater so what we are going to do we are going to shift this mid uh, this first to mid plus one meaning here and the last remains here so now once again we are going to calculate the mid so first is 11 last is 19 and mid is 15 so mid comes here now we check again if our value is on the left or on the right or our value is still greater or less so now our value is less it means now the last is going to shift towards the mid minus one means here and the first is still remains here now we will calculate mid once again so first is 11 last is 14 and mid is 13 so mid comes here and now when we check that uh, the value against mid is it our value or not we will see that it is our value so in three iterations we were able to find our value so this is exactly how the binary search works we just need to calculate the mid and then check for the value and then continue on like that okay now we will see how this uh, works in the code this is we have a method here binary search let us see how this is called from the main okay here we have our array the same array that we had there then we have element means the value that we are looking for and then the last that is the length minus one of the array which would be 19 in this case also so here we call the method binary search with the array and the first index and the last index and the element that we are looking for okay now here we have done almost the same thing that we did in that excel file we are calculating mid as first plus last divided by two and this we just need to do it because we have to round this value once again so that we get the uh, the higher number or you can say that uh, it rounds off if it's 9.5 it becomes 10 so we you just need to follow this small 
logic here. Then we are going to run one loop. This loop runs as long as first is less than or equal to last. Now the value that we started with is the array. We have first as 0 and the last as 19 and the mid as 10 for this case. So we will check the same check that we had there. Element is greater than mid or not. If it is greater than it means it is on the right side and first is equal to mid plus 1. We move our first. Else if it is equal to the element it means we found the element. We just need to return the position the index that at which index we found the element. If the element is less than the value that we have at this point on the index of mid then it has to go then the last has to be changed to mid minus one means the last shifts to the left side and once if this all finishes and we are not able to find the value once again it's going to do the same calculation because we have changed the positions of first and last or we have changed the position of first or we have changed the position of last one of them must have changed so we will do the same thing here once again mid is calculated it goes up here and then does the same thing so now let us just see how this one works we have the same position same value 68 and we will run this Now here you can see it gives you mid 10, 15 and 13. These were the mids that we calculated. It says loops 2. It's actually loop 3. Okay. The value of loop is equal to 2 because it starts from 0. So what we can do here, we can change something. Instead of putting the loop counter here, we can put it start. So once it comes here it is already 1 so now you can see it says 3 loops right so this is how we are going to code the binary circuit.